It was always a lifelong dream to be able to raise a puppy to give back to somebody else. It turned out to be pretty neat because we have this like never ending stop of unconditional love. My house is always also a revolving door of puppies. And of course it was love at first sight. This is the first time I've raised a dog for Southeastern Guide Dog. AJ is dog number six. I am raising my 11th dog. Jocelyn wanted to raise 20 dogs, okay? So pretty soon we'll be there. <laughs> Again. <laughs> for a third time. <laughs> we were not always puppy raisers. We started off as a puppy starter. At the time, I was going through grad school, and so I only had a limited amount of time, and I was trying to figure out how I could volunteer and be a part of it, uh, and maybe not commit quite to an entire year uh, of raising a puppy. And so I was able to tell them the amount of weeks that I'm able to commit to helping out, and they were able to work around my schedule. We were three couples taking care of Donald. And what we usually do is two weeks at a time, so it works out really nicely. Our duty is to give them a good uh, obedience background and basic socialization and lots of love. We went to restaurants, we went to movies, we went to art shows. Probably a shorter answer is where hasn't she gone? I'm a library media specialist at an elementary school, so he's been raised not just by our family, but by about 700 elementary students. I graduated from the University of South Florida, and Indy was actually able to attend graduation with me and walk across the stage. She had to learn how to navigate IKEA. We felt that was important. <laughs> Oh, she, did. she did great. great. Yeah, she did great. And she has excellent taste in furniture, too. <laughs> Good boy. Good job. Okay, you ready? Can you manage? <laughs> do, you need a, do you need a Kleenex? Shut up, Alex. <laughs> the whole drive down here, I just felt like my heart was coming out, not through excitement, just through love and knowing that she's gonna live her purpose very quickly. I kept on telling her, like, I just wanted her to do good and just behave and, you know, whatever career Pat's finds you, whether it be, a, you know, a guide dog or a emotional support dog or a veteran, I'd be happy either way. But just to do your best and, yeah. We see the, <laughs> the reason why we're doing this. Yeah, when you see the reason why. Sorry, I was trying not to cry during this. Um, you know, it just makes it all worthwhile. And I'd like to think that, you know, if I were in a position where um, I needed a dog, that someone would do that for me. So, yeah, it definitely makes it all worth it. When you get to see and really talk to the person that they're going to be changing the lives of and see firsthand, sorry. <laughs> That's why we do what we do. You show them how I see and yes, you fall in love with them. And yes, your heart is always broken. But at the same token, hopefully we'll be able to follow his progress and see how much good he does for his forever person. And the secret is you get another puppy before you turn your other puppy in. <laughs> so we're on number seven. <laughs> is there anyone out there that would like to experience what giving love is, raise a puppy. <laughs>